This afternoon at the High Court, it was Prince Harry's opportunity to go where and also accuse the Mirror Group newspaper's lawyer of triggering him over what? Make sure you subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more details in this Daily Nerd starting right now. up everyone it's me steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd where i break down the news and pop culture stories of the day that's pretty much got me eye and oh my goodness before i jump into all the juicy ch- oh, city tales with this video's main topic there is a little bit of housekeeping as always firstly youtube human reviewer i see you lurking i'm not gonna say any trigger words or anything that's going to offend your ear holes and to everyone else awesome enough to have clicked on this video hey up how y'all doing if you've got some strong thoughts about prince harry's testimony today and i bet you do then make sure you send me a super thanks it's just below this video right here we can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me and oh yeah let's jump into this one shall we so uh, this afternoon at one o'clock UK time, it was, yes, the chance for Prince Harry's own lawyer to question him on the stand after his lawyer pretty much witnessed an absolute epic bloodbath uh, thanks to MGN's lawyer, Mirror Group Newspaper's lawyer. So uh, Harry's own lawyer, his, he's called David Sherburn KC. And his lawyer tells the court, when Mr. Green said there's no call data in relation to Harry, uh, the Duke responded that it was an incredibly risky thing to do to someone in his position. So then his lawyer turns around and asks, do you mean that no one did hack your phone? And then Hazard responds, I believe they would have gone to extreme lengths to cover their tracks. And this is a thing. Okay, if that's the case. But the burden of proof, no matter which way you slice it, guys, is on Prince Harry. Because Prince Harry has turned around and said, Mirror Group newspapers, you hacked me. You partook on unlaw- unlawful information gathering on me. So, prove it. <laughs> like, where's the evidence? Where are the receipts? My goodness. So, we get on to next paul burrell and for those that don't know paul burrell he is the ex-butler of the late princess diana and so his lawyer goes into an article that was published by mgn back in december 2003 that reported that hazard was against a meeting uh, whereas prince william was in favor of one to stop mr burrell apparently selling secrets about their mother, Princess Diana. So the article was written after Christmas, the lawyer points out, asking Hazard where did he spend his Christmas at that point? And he says, most likely at Sandringham with my family. And that is the most likelihood. You know, every Christmas they all, they're all at Sandringham. So why would that year be any different? Makes sense. Okay. So his lawyer then asks, So two weeks later, you were still angry at Mr. Burrell, but you don't want to meet him and your brother does. Can you explain why your position might have changed? Now, he says, explain the position, why, explain why your position might have changed as to whether you wanted to see Paul Burrell or not. Reason why his lawyer is asking this is because when the MGN lawyer was questioning him, Oh my goodness, you could call Prince Harry Mr. Contradiction at this point because he was like, I was dead against it. And then it was, no, I, I, I was all for meeting him uh, when he wrote his book, Wah, otherwise known as Spare. And then it went to, I don't know. <laughs> I told you it was a bloodbath with the MGN lawyer. Um, but has a response, presumably based on conversations that my brother and I had over Christmas. So the way that has is trying to explain this is, yeah, I were dead against it, but the assumption is me and my brother, Prince William, we had a conversation about it over Christmas and he changed my mind. Okay, right, okay. Uh, why couldn't he have just said that when the MGN lawyer 
was questioning him. I think someone got coached. Just saying, just saying. Now, this is where um, <laughs> Prince Harry is complaining, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, that the MGN lawyer triggered him. Oh, no. Prince Harry got triggered, guys. And this is about the realms of speculation remark. So his lawyers discussing the Harry Carey article that was published back in May 2005. And his lawyer turns around and asks, do you believe this is in the realms of total speculation? And has a response, no, I don't. And it's even more destructive that it was used as a headline, I think, this morning against me. Oh, where, where, where? Oh, no, I'm so triggered. <laughs> He's triggered over the term realms of speculation. What the deuce? And so we get on to another article that they then discuss called Hooray Harry's Dumped, published in November 2007. Now, again, remember, the MGN lawyer was like, you're saying that this was a, a diss, a disrespectful remark against you? No, it wasn't, oh, hooray, Harry's being dumped thing. It was just, it was your nickname, hooray, Harry. That was it. Harry took that headline the complete wrong way. And the MGN lawyer wiped the floor with him in that instant, as he did on many instances, to be fair. So... His own lawyer now is having a go at this. And he asks her, Harry who Nick Buckley is because his lawyer's referring to the Mirror's, quote, Project Harry invoice. And so Harry tells the court, Mr. Buckley is a prolific hacker. My name was on his Palm Pilot. And so his lawyer then asks, do you think you were speculating about the unlawful information gathering? No, I do not, Prince Harry responds. I believe there was hard evidence. Okay, firstly, if your name is on his palm pilot, it does not then automatically mean that you were hacked or there was any unlawful information gathering this, that, and the other. Suspect, yes. The definite, no. And if he's turning around and saying, I believe there was hard evidence, show us the receipts then. Show us the receipts. Because... This is the thing, right? His lawyer is saying, is asking, do you think you were speculating? And then he says, no, I do not. But then speculates in the same sentence. I believe that speculative language. There was hard evidence. <laughs> think about it. Are you speculating? No, I'm not. But I believe. <laughs> you can't make this shiz up. I believe me, you cannot make this shiz up. And yes, I did say, believe me, as, as, as a little bit of a funny remark there, uh, given the situation. So <laughs> we get on to another article here. Uh, Soldier Harry's Taliban in September 2008. Uh, and so he go, the lawyer goes through some invoices the claimants allege show evidence of unlawful information gathering. Um, and so... He, <sighs> Harry tells the court, for my whole life, the press have misled me. Oh, wah, wah, wah. oh my goodness. I'm the victim. Wow. He's on his soapbox here, guys. Um, so, yeah, for my whole life, the press have misled me, have covered up the wrongdoing. So to be sitting here in court and knowing the defense has the def evidence in front of them and knowing Mr. Green is suggesting that I'm speculating, I don't really know what to say about that. Um, well, firstly, he's saying knowing the defence has the evidence in front of them. Just asking for a friend. Is, is he literally in open court on the stand accusing MGN and the lawyers literally a straight up lying within the high court of perjury? I'm just asking for a friend. Just asking for a friend. And then he's like, I don't have the evidence to support my claims, but they have the evidence to support my claims and they're not showing it. Wah! Dude, you make an accusation, all right? 
You take him to court, but burden of proof is on you to be able to prove the accusation, not the other way around. You know? It's how it works, right? You'd think he'd know. You'd think he'd know. Um, and so they then get on to, like, the overall kind of paparazzi experience for Prince Harry and Prince William. And so... Um, Prince uh, Harry says, they stalked and harassed us for well over a decade. I say us because they picked on my brother also. I and my whole security team, as well as my brother's suspected consistent unlawful activity. Again, realms of speculation here. We suspected, not that we knew. And here's the evidence, guys. No, 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 no. Uh, and then there's a little bit of shades of the NYC car chase uh, coming in in this final paragraph here saying he then goes on to tell the court about a chase with one of the photographers who he says was endangering everybody around him opposite the fire station on the King's Road adding that this was not normal paparazzi behaviour oh my goodness it was a near catastrophic car chase moment yet again yeah, uh, how many people believed them in the end a couple of weeks back with the whole New York City debacle thing that went on? And he's trying to do it again here. Don't think so, don't think so. Without evidence, how 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 are we to believe, right? Um, We then get on to Mr. Justice Fancourt. So for those that don't understand his title here of Mr. Justice Fancourt, the judge, right? Okay. Uh, so Mr. Justice Fancourt then has some questions for Prince Harry before he leaves. So he asks him whether the unusual activity identified on his phone that he takes as indicating unlawful activity. And so Harry says, from the moment I had a mobile phone, clarifying that this began when he was a schoolboy at Eton and it had never stopped. He then says, I remember a lot of missed calls that lasted one second and I remember a lot of people asking me, did you get my voicemail and stuff like that? But I do not remember how consistent it was. Okay, so you got a lot of missed calls. That does not then indicate that the phone was hacked. Oh my goodness. Guys, I get a lot of missed calls. Does that mean my phone is hacked? Oh my goodness. Ah! Seriously. Um, he then adds, I remember when I was told that this was all hacking, it all made sense. It told, but where's the evidence? Uh, the judge then asks, did it stop in 2011? And Harry replies, not that I can remember. Dude, it's either a yes or no. <laughs> it's either a yes or no. It, it, Prince Harry doesn't have a clue, guys. He doesn't have a clue. Uh, we then get on to the final bit of what Mr. Justice Fancourt, again, the judge, wanted to ask. And this was about an incident uh, after a ranch in Argentina that Harry was in was swarmed with paparazzi. Uh, and Harry replies to the judge saying, the biggest memory that I have is the amount of paparazzi surrounding the ranch I was at. And the local police suggesting the only way to get rid of them was to pay them off. Okay? but. You can't then turn around and say, oh, those paparazzi was there as a result of unlawful information gathering without evidence. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, they could have been there because someone in the area saw Prince Harry and tipped him off, right? It could have been as simple as that. It could have been someone in his entourage that could have sold him out. There's a lot of plausible explanations here. And without Prince Harry backing himself up with the hard evidence to categorically say this was phone hacking, this was unlawful information gathering, my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, he just absolutely tanked his case and he's lost. That's it. And this whole situation this afternoon with his lawyer questioning him, as far as I'm concerned, was just essentially, okay, the opportunity for Prince Harry to go, Wah! I'm the victim and MGN's lawyer's evil because they he triggered me with the whole uh, realms of speculation comment. That's triggering. Wah, wah, wah. Freaking grow a pair. 
We know he's Todger's blue, thanks to Wah! otherwise known as Spare, you know what I mean? So you'd think he'd have a set on him, or maybe they're back in California with Megzi. Who knows at this point? But you know what? Enough with my gob. It's now time for your gobs. If you appreciated this video and you want more, believe me, whew, there's going to be more because this trial is not over yet, guys. Uh, do make sure you click on that subscribe button. Help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button right there. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories and whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about Harry's testimony, and I bet you do, then go and send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.